Hey guys, my name is Desi. I'm here with some of the members of Team Legit who, from what I understand, are sending a remote control aircraft into space. I'm here to ask them some questions and get some more details about their project. So guys, tell me a little bit about your team. Well, I'm Johnny. I'm the mission commander and the equipment specialist. Um, we have a few members that are not here with us today. We've got Don, who's scouting out remote uh, locations of the U.S. to do our next uh, FPV adventures in. We've got James who's uh, ground control monitoring. He'll be checking the systems, making sure that everything is within uh, normal range. We've also got John and Wes who's in charge of the search and rescue and the uh, navigation in case anything goes awry. I'll let the rest of the team introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Hove and uh, I'm ground control coordinator, also a flight checklist. And I'm Dennis. I'm the airframe specialist and also part of the ground crew. I'm John. I'm the test pilot. I'll be remotely operating this aircraft. So is it true that you are sending a remote control aircraft into space? Technically not into space. Um, we're actually, our goal is to go up to 85,000 feet, um, which is about 60 miles above uh, the Earth's surface into the stratosphere. Okay, so it's not exactly space, but it's still really high up there. How exactly is this project going to work? Well, we intend to launch the aircraft with a large weather balloon uh, filled with helium. What will happen is we'll release the aircraft uh, attached to this weather balloon into the uh, stratosphere where it will ascend at about 600 feet per, per minute. Uh, once it reaches our target goal of roughly 85,000 feet, it will at that point be about three times its original size causing the balloon to burst. The aircraft will then free fall back down to Earth. And how did you guys come up with this crazy idea? Uh, the project started off with uh, watching some YouTube videos of uh, some other people sending up uh, cans of beer or children's toys up into, up into space. Uh, they got some really cool footage and some really, really cool pictures. The project started off with, with that idea, but instead of trying to find the item which free fall back down to Earth, we figured, let's fly it back. What exactly is FPV? FPV is a first person view where a remote control pilot will operate an aircraft, uh, giving it responses or transmitting its signals to the aircraft, with the aircraft giving you feedback via a live video and showing us what the aircraft is doing to our responses. Did you guys encounter any hurdles while you were working on this project? We had several hurdles. Number one was the trying to find the legal means to launch and recover this aircraft. Uh, then we had to come up with the finances to make this aircraft and uh, test out all the systems that were going to be used in this aircraft. Okay, so I have to ask, since you guys are legit, is this project really legal? Well, technically, according to the FAA, it is illegal to operate an unmanned aerial vehicle above 400 feet AGL or outside of line of sight. So according to the FAA, in any circumstances, this would be illegal. However, being Team Legit, we wanted to make sure this project was done with legal means. So what we have done is we've leased restricted airspace provided to us by MCAS uh, to conduct this mission. There will be no air traffic during uh, this mission, so we will not be a potential hazard or a threat to um, aviation or general population on the ground. So from what you guys know, has this been done before? Um, it has been done for a few occasions. Um, none of them have returned back to uh, where it's been launched. So some of them came back several miles away, uh, but it has been done a few occasions. How sure are you that this is going to actually work? I think the team's confidence is high. Uh, through the research and the testing we've done, uh, we believe it will be successful. What happens if it doesn't go according to plan for any reason? All, we tried to answer all the what ifs. What if we lose video signal? Well, in that case, uh, we have a DragonLink 12 channel UHF radio that has significant amount of range that should be able to make sure the aircraft is within our control. So we would flip a switch activating the Ruby autopilot, which is provided to us by youthere.com. Uh, Ruby is a complete autonomous autopilot that can operate on its own. It's got three axis gyros and stabilizers. From there, the Ruby can turn the aircraft and point it and fly it back to home. In case we lose uh, RC connection or the transmitter is uh, uh, lost connection, the Ruby will automatically initiate a return to home sequence where it will fly back to uh, the launch zone. So let's see this aircraft. 
Why did you pick this particular aircraft? Uh, we chose for this application the Hercules by uh, Crash Test Hobby. It's got a 63 inch wingspan, it's a flying wing, makes it a great glider, can hold a lot of payload. And how did you build this aircraft? Well the aircraft is built out of EPP and it has eight glass fiber spars, it has five mil laminate as well as the three mil vinyl graphics. What specific components are inside this plane that are going to help make your mission successful? Well, this plane has uh, a lot of uh, components in there. We try to keep it as, as simple as possible, but uh, Ruby will be the main uh, brain of the operations. This will be uh, functioning as a uh, backup, like I said earlier, a failsafe to um, ensure that the aircraft flies back to the launch zone, either without video signal or without any input from the uh, pilot. From uh, from the Ruby will be uh, the Elevons, which are controlled by MKS titanium geared servos. Um, that will be the main uh, control surfaces, the movement of the main control surfaces. We've got um, Hobby Parts has provided us with several um, components, such as the control rods and the linkages, as well as a lot of BECs that will all be powered by the Genzace 4000 milliamp LiPos. Um, we've also got uh, a Dragonlink 12 channel UHF remote control system which can uh, maximize our, our flight range and give us the ability to control this aircraft for miles and miles out. That looks like a lot of work. How many hours would you say you spent working on this project? Um, I think with the research and building the plane we put about just over 300 hours all of us combined. What do you hope to accomplish from this project? What's your overall goal? Well, um, as you can see, there's many sponsors on there. So what we hope to accomplish is uh, recognition. Uh, we hope that our sponsors can use uh, this project as a marketing tool. Uh, we also want to demonstrate that hobby-grade equipment can uh, do some really spectacular projects and, and achieve some really spectacular goals. Uh, and overall, we just want to have some recognition for the team and uh, for the sponsors. Do you guys have any future plans for any upcoming projects? Well, we are a pretty creative team, so we like to come up with uh, unique and uh, different projects. For now, our main focus is making sure this project is a success, but I'm very confident that we'll have some uh, other projects that are just as epic in the near future. Well, this project definitely sounds exciting. I'm looking forward to see this project in motion, and I'm sure the viewers are as well. Stay tuned to see their progress and click the links below for any further information.